students from Fort Hare University in the Eastern Cape will march to the East London Magistrates Court this morning. That's where a 25-year-old suspect linked to the murder of law student Nostrelo Mtebeni will be appearing. Our senior reporter Malangelo Boy is tracking the story. He joins us now live from East London. Uh, no doubt the community, particularly in that area, Malangelo Boy, still reeling from the details of this gruesome murder. That's right, Michelle. The community is not only shocked, but they are also angry and demanding answers because they say that they knew Uno Sitelo very well, but also, Michelle, saying that they knew the suspect. He was a 25-year-old man who they described as a loner, a person who seldom spoke to anyone, and if he spoke, he was soft-spoken. So wh what do we know about him, Michelle? He's 25 years old. We know he's also apparently from Mdanzane, and he has lived in this particular area for about seven months or so. In fact, he lived, he rented um, a room in the house where the incident happened. Room number five, we are told, Michelle, over the weekend, forensic experts, spent the, an, the entire Saturday, Michelle, combing the scene, trying to get the clues inside that room, but also where we are outside, that's where the dismembered body of Nositalum Tebeni was actually found. Over the past few days, Michelle, we've been seeing community members from here and also students from Forte coming here to pray. There have also been religious groups that have also been coming here. Here, Michelle to pray and also to decry the level of gender-based violence and femicide in this country. Michelle? Malangelo, insofar as the relationship between Nositelo and the suspect, what do we know? Well, Michelle, we know that they've been living together for a long time and they were in a relationship and that has been confirmed, in fact, by the police and also some of the neighbours that we're talking to over the past few days. They've often been seen together and, in fact, one, uh, one of the neighbours, Michelle, in the, in, in the, in, here actually said to me, at times we'd actually see them walking together dressed in matching um, tops at times and that's why most of them are shocked and taken aback by what has actually happened but Michelle we've also heard though from um, some of the local residents that after the police made that gruesome find and they went to the house that's where they found uh, the suspect still with some parts of Nositelum Tebeni's body, um, as body parts rather and also Michelle were told that law enforcement officials also found um, drugs in, in, in his possession and in fact we told what police found was crystal meth and lots of residents in this particular area also believe that drugs perhaps played a part in what happened here last week. Michelle? Malungelo, I, I mean, you know, we often talk about the issue of Women's Month when it comes to incidents of uh, gender-based violence, uh, horrific incidents like this one as well. Y you know, how do we look at what happened to Nostrello? And I suppose the question uh, will also go to uh, university authorities. What's the role here from university campuses in terms of ensuring the safety of their students? You know, Michelle, I've been attending night vigils, interacting with Nosipelo Tebeni's peers. They are angry. They are afraid. They are wondering, actually, if will they be next, and rightfully so, Michelle. They've also raised an issue about 2019 when Uinene was killed. The students were saying that when that incident happened, also here in the Eastern Cape in East London, what they did is that they shut down their campuses, protested and handed over memorandums to the university, to officials from the Buffalo City municipalities, saying they don't feel safe and something drastic has to be done. They say nothing was done. 
and look at where we are today. And in fact, one of the SRC leaders that was addressing a night vigil yesterday, Michelle Sipoga Zimbalo, actually said uh, while addressing some of the residents, uh, some of the um, students at a night vigil last night, she said that, well, She's not an Imbogoto. You would know that's a phrase that's often used this month to describe women. She says she's not an Imbogoto because Imbogoto is something that does not have an emotion. It's something that does not have feelings. And she says she is a woman. She has feelings. And she wants something drastic to be done about gender-based violence. Michelle? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Malu. And uh, it does feel like, you know, these horrific incidents happen. Women lose their lives in very violent ways, and we seem to have the same conversations month after month, year after year. Uh, students from Fortier University in the Eastern Cape marching to the East London Magistrates Court this morning. That's where that 25-year-old suspect in the gruesome murder of Nostrelo Mtebeni will be appearing in court today.